Look, it's a music pie. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. Would it be nice to enjoy your own music collection for free on Amazon Echo speakers? Of course you would. Up until now I was enjoying my music collection on one of these. This is Google Home Mini and the sound of it was decent enough uh, to play it in my office and Google made it incredibly easy to upload your own files to the cloud and enjoy uh, the music uh, among your other purchases. So all you had to do is just call uh, Google Assistant and ask uh, to play the track you want. Now, since the release of Amazon uh, Dot Echo third generation, the speaker is very similar in size. However, it sounds so much better that I'm no longer really keen on listening to the music from um, uh, from Google Home Mini. Playing your call high quality by Kevin MacLeod from the album Royalty Free. Now there is a couple of problems. First of all, to enjoy your own music, it's complicated. You're probably gonna end up paying for something. And I don't really want to pay again for the trucks I already know. Amazon made it really, really difficult because it requires an Amazon Prime Music subscription to be able to upload up to 250,000 uh, songs to their server and stream it al uh, along your purchases to Amazon Echo devices. Now, to make it worse, not only the service is paid, however, it has been discontinued too. So you no longer can upload your new tracks. And if you didn't extend the service, the service does not exist anymore. Now, there are a couple of more solutions, but all of them require a paid subscription. There is a way, however, of streaming your music stored locally uh, into one of these for free. Now, Plex isn't something that is associated with music very often. However, you can upload the music to Plex and you can stream it from Plex using voice commands for free. Now, I've made this. This is my custom Plex server responsible solely for streaming the music. Uh, I've made this for about £30, so it's about $35. And if you're interested exactly how this, this is wor working, uh, I would recommend you the video in the corner here where I focus only on making one of these possible. It's wireless and all you need is a USB power to stream the music from here to here. And by the way, that can store up to 500 uh, gigabytes of music. To actually enjoy your music, you don't need exactly this device. All you have to do is to have a USB stick to store your music but in a pinch you can use the SD card as well and Raspberry Pi. Now there is a, a selection of the Raspberry Pis you can use. You cannot sadly use Raspberry Pi Zero which would make this project even cheaper. Uh, however, you can use Raspberry Pi 2 and all the Raspberry Pi 3s including the latest Raspberry Pi 3A+. Plus. So having those two if you'd not bother with having a fancy uh, packaging or case like this, uh, all you have to do is connect them together, uh, load some plex, load some music, and hide the board so it wouldn't be so terribly bad looking, and you'll be able to enjoy your music. So now I'm just going to walk you through uh, on how to install the plex and how to make uh, the music work with Amazon Echo Dot. Before we start, it's advisable that you would update and upgrade your Raspberry Pi. I'm going to start with updating the repo, so just run the commands, uh, you can get them from my article linked in the description and we're going to need to update the uh, list of packages that we've got on Raspberry Pi. Once this is done, just to run the sudo update again and we are ready to install the Plex package on your Raspberry Pi. That's going to take only a couple of seconds and then you will be able to uh, enjoy the Plex. 
Um, once this is installed, then we have to modify the user for the Plex. So just go to the setting file, uh, which is uh, located in ATC, ATC default Plex Media Server. And just modify this line, it's going to say Plex, change it to Pi. Now, once this is done, there's uh, still a couple of things that we have to do. Uh, chances are that your USB stick isn't visible yet, isn't mounted, so uh, just go and list all the devices using a command uh, fdisk-l and I will show you what you've got in your Raspberry Pi connected and you can see the actual uh, directory uh, where is the uh, my stick with music and we have to mount it. To mount this just simply use sudo mount and then the disk location and your default location. And if you're unable to mount it just make sure you create that directory first because uh, otherwise you won't be able to mount uh, that drive as this directory. I'm just gonna stick it as a home pi uh, on this example. Now just a quick tip, if after the restart of the Raspberry Pi uh, your hard drive or your disk isn't present just add to cron tab and uh, mounting command and you'll be good to go. To access the Plex we need to sign in so just pop in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and followed by port 34200 and you'll be taken to a Plex login and you'll get to enjoy the library. The library is going to be empty so just click on libraries and add a new music library. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to do it in here. I've got a library here but you can just uh, go through this process uh, by clicking plus then selecting music and then selecting the storage containing your music. Once this is done, you're pretty much uh, good to go. It's going to take a couple of moments to actually index all the files. Once this is done, we have to add the same skill to Alexa. So just go to Skills, Add Plex and log in. Just remember before you uh, can ask Plex any uh, questions about music, you have to add the server. So just ask Plex to change your server and it'll ask you which server you want to use. So. Thank you so much guys for watching if you're interested in how to make one of these uh, and the video is at the end linked as well and full descriptions of what we've done today it's obviously uh, listed in a link to the article in the description of this video so go and check it out. I strongly recommend you to uh, have a look and see how to make a case like this and how to mod Raspberry Pi because this is custom Raspberry Pi as well uh, because the, I wanted the box to be as small as possible so I would encourage you to click through on that video too. As for now, thank you so much for watching guys and as usual I'm gonna see you in the next video. Take care, bye.